leaving Sydney. We've been in Sydney for about uh, four nights. Yeah, about four nights, uh, five nights. Five nights, four days. And we're just leaving out here today to head towards Melbourne. Gonna head off to Melbourne, gonna have a good time there. It's about a thousand, just over a thousand kilometers from Sydney all the way to Melbourne. You'll notice the lack of a bike trailer now. We do not have a bike trailer anymore. We sold it while we're in Sydney. So we're just gonna be flying along the road. Since I left my bike, since I left uh, in Brisbane, I have actually dropped over 60 pounds or 30 kilos on the bike, 66 pounds, 30 kilos I, I've dropped off the bike. I I got it, same thing happened to me in Asia. I got, I started the, I started the uh, tour off with a trailer, only a trailer, then I picked up panties and a rack while I was in Ho Chi Minh City and I ditched the trailer because I, I just really dislike trailers for touring. I just find them heavy and they just kind of uh, get in the way of me going a lot faster than I'd like to go. But just today, you can probably, you might be able to hear in the background, we're right next to We're right next to Sydney Airport and we've been riding just for about an hour or so right now. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a whole video on how to navigate in and out of big cities because I've navigated through I think four or five major cities now. So in and out of Hanoi, in and out of Ho Chi Minh City, in and out of Phnom Penh, in and out of Bangkok twice, and now it will be in and out of Sydney as well, navigating on my bike. So we're gonna do a whole video on that because I've got a request about that one. You know, what do I do? Do I use a GPS? Do I use maps? You know, what? How do I get in and out of... <coughs> How do I get in and out of big cities like this? Uh, yeah, so hope you guys had a great Christmas or, uh, you know, whatever you celebrate at this time of, uh, this time of year, this holiday season. I was just spending it you know, down in Sydney, just a couple hundred meters from Bondi Beach. We wanted to go on the beach on Christmas Day, uh, but it was pissing out rain all day long, so we didn't get to do that. But anyways, we're gonna, gonna, I'm gonna keep going for the day. We have about 230 kilometers to my next destination, which is Ula Dula. Strange, we have strangest names here in Australia for cities and, and for cities and for uh, and for the street names. Just the oddest names ever. Gonna be heading towards that. It's 230k away, so it's gonna take me uh, two easy days to get down there, and then we're gonna do some fun when we get there. All right, gonna head out. Peace out, guys. Talk to you guys super soon. Some parts of the uh, some parts of the uh, the major highways here in Australia, you'll have uh, basically a dedicated lane on the shoulder for bicycles, and. It's fucking awesome, guys. See how see how wide it is. It's pretty pretty well lane wide just for bicycles, and you see a lot of cyclists riding up and down these roads. I've seen so many go past me. So it's really nice that you know when they're actually building some of these highways, they actually have cyclists in mind. <laughs> cool stuff. Oh, oh baby, look at. Look what we got here. We got we're out at Bully Lookout. Bully Lookout. Look at this. Look at that, baby. Oh my goodness. It's felt like I'm like all day. I'm like, man, it feels like I've been climbing all day long. And sure enough, when when I started at, I basically started at sea level today, getting all the way up to the top here. Or probably about. Uh, just under a hundred kilometers I think for the day and we're just like, like beautiful beautiful view and when when you when you cycle these uh, when you cycle the roads and and you're cycle touring you really appreciate every single amazing view that you get you appreciate everything so much more as I had to work my butt off just to get all the way up to the top here Bully lookout check it out it's on rail bye bye now, now I have to ride down a road all the way down to the bottom there. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh boy. So we're finishing up the day here in Wollongong. I'm uh, just going to find a place to camp quickly. Um, but I just want to do a quick little video just before I went and found a place to camp. And 
so what I want to talk about is getting advice and tips from people um, just in general, just generally people who would give you advice and tips on whatever you might be doing in life. And what's kind of, you know, sparked this idea in my head is that uh, just about over a week ago, some, somebody left a comment in one of my YouTube videos saying that it's illegal to ride on the, on the Pacific Highway, um, for bicycles to ride on the Pacific Highway. And that he was surprised that nobody had called the cops on me um, because I'd been riding on that highway. And I just kind of had to chuckle at it because his comment was not based on, it wasn't experiential. It wasn't, he wasn't basing that advice on experience because I'd been riding on that highway for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers at that point. And I'd also <laughs> had a conversation with a police officer while on the highway. So I, and, and on top of that, there's actually designated bike lanes on the shoulder for good parts of the highway as well. So um, whoever, uh, for the guy that left that comment to me, he wasn't speaking from experience. He was speaking from hearsay and their say. And he wasn't entirely wrong because there are certain parts of the highway where bicycles aren't allowed. For example, from Brisbane to the Gold Coast, bicycles are not allowed to ride on this specific part of the highway. So you have to take back roads and, and stuff like that. And <clears throat> this is where people can get really, really confused and really take bad advice from people is because they are not speaking from experience with a lot of shit that people say. A lot of people are always speaking from hearsay and their say. And what you wanna do is you wanna focus the advice that you get from people. You wanna seek out advice from people who are getting the results that you want, who have done the things that you want to do. There's no point in asking someone, you know, how to lose weight when they're 300 pounds overweight. Like that doesn't, doesn't really make sense because they're not really speaking from experience, right? You'd want to ask somebody how to lose weight from someone who has already done it. So, for example, you know, if someone was, was going to ask me, you know, uh, you know what, what's the best route to take from Brisbane to Sydney, I'd be able to tell them. And I'd be able to tell them, you know, what parts they can't ride on and such and such and such. Because I would be speaking from experience because I've already done it. Now, just so that you don't get totally confused by this and get totally the wrong idea and the total, totally wrong focus on it is that some, getting advice from hearsay and say can be a good thing. It's not entirely bad. Like, if someone gave you the advice like, oh, you know, don't jump off of a building because you're gonna die. Well, <laughs> that's good advice to get from someone from, you know, in terms of hearsay and say as opposed to someone trying to speak from experience. Because chances are, if someone's speaking from experience about jumping off of the building, they're probably already dead, so they're not even speaking about it. So some advice from hearsay and their say is good. It's just that the vast majority of, of advice from people is not based on experience. It's not based on really anything. They've heard it from somewhere, they've read it in, in a newspaper maybe, and and as the story kind of goes along, you know, facts might be changed. They don't remember everything correctly. So they actually might be trying, you know, very well-meaning people might be giving you bad advice, bad tips. A lot of people warned me about a lot of things in Asia that never happened. They're like, oh, you have to watch out for this. You have to watch out for that. Never happened. No, no one warned me about how bad the sun would be. And that was one thing <laughs> that really sucked. Nobody warned me about the population density of that area and how hard it would be to, to camp outside. Nobody warned me about those two things because nobody had done it from experience. And now when people ask me, I've, you know, I've gotten emails from people asking me about, you know, cycle touring Vietnam from, from the north to the south. I can basically tell them exactly what they need to know because I've already experienced it. I'm speaking from experience so I can give good quality advice. And so, and a, and a lot of people that will give you advice and give you tips, usually, you know, family, friends, and, and so on. Even people on the street will give you advice. And, and I mean, they're, they're well-meaning people. They're trying to look out for you, typically, <laughs> the best that they can. But if, they're, if they haven't done the thing that you want to do, then I wouldn't take their advice too seriously. So if you're looking how to lose weight, you're not going to ask someone who's overweight. 
you're going to ask someone who has gone through the steps that you need to do and are you know living that vibrant high high vitality life like that's what you want so you take advice from the people that you that are getting the results that you want like one of the biggest influences in my life is obviously Durian Rider. The guy has done a lot of the things that I want to do. He's already cycled across Australia, so I, I know I can ask him. And I did when I was in Brisbane. I asked him, you know, a couple questions. I'm like, you know, so what types of foods should I be, be you know, focusing on getting? You know, is it easy to camp outside? Like, like asking him very basic questions and he's able to actually give me answers based on experience. So I know it's good advice because he's already done it. So just to recap is that not all advice from people from hearsay and their say is bad, but try to focus, try to focus on getting advice from people who have the experience and the thing that you want to do. <laughs> so say it is that you want to you, climb a, a mountain. You're going to take advice from people who have already climbed that mountain. You're not going to take advice from people who haven't climbed that mountain because that, that just wouldn't make any sense, right? Anyways, guys, I hope you got some good advice from the steps because I'm speaking from advice from people who have tried to give me advice and give me tips and they're well-meaning people, but a lot, of their a lot of their advice and a lot of their tips don't make any sense. So you need to be able to wade through um, basically the comments and, and suggestions that people will give to you. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day as always and we're going to go find a place to camp out here. And then we are going to head off to Ula Dula tomorrow. Please share this video uh, with your friends and family on Facebook, on Twitter or whatever. Subscribe to the channel to see more shenanigans from Australia on the Vegan Bicycle Tour. Like or dislike the video. Leave your questions and comments in the box below and I will be sure to answer them. Peace out guys. Cheers.